Hi everyone, welcome to another video here at The Paper Addict. This is a layout I made with Pebbles Spring Fling collection of our daughter when she was like, I think this was her three month or four month uh, photos. And I made this layout for the Bling on the Crafts blog hop. That means all of the projects in the blog hop are going to be uh, sparkly glitter, foil, things like that. So you see me going through several photos here. I have photos from her entire first year that I had hung up on a banner when we did her first birthday party and I still have them in a pile and I've been using them up. So I couldn't decide I liked that this photo, the pink in her outfit matched the pink of that paper. But when I put it on the paper, I don't know if it was the way she was looking or the, the green. It didn't pop as well as I would have liked it to. So I went with uh, the other one where she's still, she's sitting up in a pillow. So I'm trying to think here, is she three or four months? I think, I think she's three months in that picture. I'm sure I wrote it on the layout. But the Spring Fling collection came in a very old My Creative Scrapbook kit. I want to say it was 2015. It was either 14 or 15. I'm more inclined to say it was 2015. And it was very, very floral. And at the time, I had a boy only. And I didn't know what to do with it. But now I'm uh, getting more comfortable using florals on her pages. And I have a place to use them now. I always felt kind of funny putting uh, florals on a boy page. I have gotten more comfortable with using pink on boy pages. You know, like when we go to the beach and there's pink and turquoise and I, I'm, I'm good with that now, but I was, uh, I still struggle with pink in general. I really wanted to get that smile tag somewhere on the layout. You'll see it eventually does find a home, but it takes me, takes me a while. So now I'm deciding, do I want this on white? You know, what makes it pop better? And I really wanted to use that polka dot paper. This kit was really um, at the end of its life for me. I had created five or six layouts already. I created five or six cards. But I kept coming back wanting to use that polka dot paper. And you'll see the way I end up doing that. And I've never done this particular thing before and it came, uh, when I did it, I was like, why haven't I done this before? They obviously match each other. So I always gut the center of my paper when I'm going to mount like white or black cardstock on it. Well, silly me, why didn't I just you flip it over and you the gutted piece and use that on the layout. Duh! Like, it, it, it came to me and I couldn't even believe that I hadn't done it before. Like, consciously. Maybe I've done it without thinking. But it's the perfect way to match it. Because, obviously, they match. <laughs> they were designed to match, is what I mean. But I liked the way that stripe just added a little bit of something, but didn't necessarily... Uh, give it a whole nother, hey, look at me. So, and there's where that gutted piece comes in. I liked the brown check against the polka dots because it gave the photo a place that wasn't as busy to rest. And I know you're probably looking at this going, where's the bling? Where's the bling? It's coming, I promise. There is two different types of bling on this page, and you can see them better in the close-ups. But I wanted to use these florals and that butterfly 
because this was outside at a rose garden. It's about 20 minutes from us. And in the back, that green that you see in the back is not uh, grass. It is a like a, a lily pond. And obviously it had the roses. And while we were there, um, there were several couples getting their wedding photos taken. So this had to be June. So March, so April, May. She was three months old. And this also happened to fall on my husband and I's anniversary. We would have been married 11 years on the day these pictures were taken. And our photographer was kind enough to, uh, when she found that out, snap a few of my husband and I as well. Of course, neither of us were particularly dressed for photo taking, but it's a nice memory that, you know, it was on our anniversary and this is how we look on a normal basis, not necessarily dressed up. So you can see as I tuck this tag in, it catches um, glimpses of the bling. So this is my first kind of bling. It is gold foil on both the pink tag and the turquoise one. So there I finally find where that smile is going to live. I thought of creating a cluster, you know, down in the, the left hand corner when I was doing this just on the white cardstock, but the smile tag was just too big for me to do that. At least, you know, for my opinion. Then I had all these vellum pieces that I hadn't used any of from the embellishment pack or die cut pack, and I kept trying to to figure out how to incorporate them. But no matter what I did, I just didn't care for them until I found this little doily-like one and I was able to tuck it in two places. And that, that I liked. I thought about putting bling on each of those. The doily has, you know, like tiny little cutouts. And I thought about putting like stickles or something there, but you'll see I put stickles um, in two other places on the turquoise, uh, turquoise greeny butterfly. There he is. Um, and it does warp it a little bit, so I was afraid if I put it on those vellum, that vellum doily, that it would pucker it all up since it would be on every every part of the doily. So what I'm doing now is attaching some twine to the tag. This is very, very, very old twine. I want to say I've had this at least four or five years. It's from my mind's eye. The yellow was a perfect match to the yellow in those flowers. And I like to double my uh, twine up. I don't, th for me, most of the time, there have been instances where I, I do use one, but most of the time I like to double it up. It makes it a little more substantial, gives it uh, a little more weight on the page, makes it a little more visible. So I tend to, to double that up. Now you will have seen on the butterfly that I bent him, his wings up, and I only glued down his body. I know in my album eventually, you know, that will flatten out, but it's a really nice effect on the page right now. So I'm using my best glue ever and gluing that doily down. I ended up not having cut it perfectly in half, so the one was too too large. Um, and I put just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the edge. Helps it not show as much. Uh, the best glue ever is wonderful on acetate. I don't see it showing through, but um, it still shows through on vellum. I haven't found anything that doesn't show through on vellum. So if you have, I would love for you to show me what you're using to have the glue not show on the vellum. And here I am with my stickles trying to match colors up. And I took a piece of scrap paper because I thought that green was going to be the same as the, the butterfly. It was not. 
So I end up with my old, you know, my old go-to. I think it's Stardust. And I put some on the center of the flowers and some on the wings. Yep, Stardust. Um, the wings had three little dots in each of the corners. So I used those to house my, my glitter. So now I'm going to throw on some enamel dots. I did again reorganize my enamel dots instead of them being in one basket for each color. I found these containers at the dollar store uh, and they hold obviously three colors and I like them better because I can pull out a whole tray and get several choices. They also look so much nicer in my drawer because they're clear. So there will be still shots of the layout at the end. Make sure to check out what everyone else has created for the sparkly bling on the crafts hop. I'd love it if you'd give this uh, a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, I'd love it if you subscribed. I do process videos, um, kit unboxings when I have them, layout shares, and I also have a Facebook group where you can share with me what paper crafts you are completing during the month. So all of my information will be in the description box below, as well as the link to my blog where you can find the in links for what everyone else created. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll be back soon with another video.